I was about to ask, when are you going to show up? Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and those who've been watching my videos. Okay, before you ask, yes, I'm through the game. I'm through the game indeed, but I did mention that I'm going to play Eliza's certain capture select for uh, the last sessions here. Um, I forgot to also mention welcome back to my gameplay or my play to rather for Eliza. Uh, the last time I I chose uh, hanging out with crap I forgot the name again. Oh yeah, Mr. Rainer Sai, and then I ended up uh, picking the path for uh, Evelyn to pursue independent career with Nora, and uh, it was a touching moment. Uh, had a reu reunion with her old friend there, and yeah, it was really awesome. Oh dear. Give me a second, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back now. Uh, okay, so, um, I think I'm gonna skip the... I'm not sure, I, I, I probably should have also played the sessions where I had to decide on which one I should debut my license script at on the first session, the second, or the third. Uh, that's it, and I can't file it all three sessions because apparently that gets my account suspended. My Eliza account suspended, and um, I mean, well, there's Rainer's side that would likely reset my account later when I decide to work with him. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like playing the sessions by uh. Yeah, like screw the Eliza. Screw the Eliza program. I'm not a fan of their responses and such. It's way too robotic on my case. I mean, like, yes, sure, it's possible, but. Uh, and apparently, the real studies does uh, emphasize that it's actually helpful for certain people who weren't probably ready to go to the actual counselors to consult about their problems just by talking to the uh, programs and not with the human being but in this game apparently it gets mixed um, Soren thought that Eliza program should be also ran with an actual counselor by uh, reading their script about although of course some of them don't deliver them okayly due to their tones and such yeah that could get a little bit biased for the uh, in, in retrospect of the uh, clients who were meant to pay the programs upon, so yeah, that's more or less what I think on Eliza and why it kind of it's not really my style, but it does work for them, so good on them, really. Not gonna judge it that well, but it does. So, for that reason alone, I think I decided to just go to the extra time and uh, choose um, Fox that I think uh, I think I'm gonna try to choose all of them and uh, I'm gonna try to choose it in the mix and uh, I don't know we'll see we'll see what's up with that I still also have to do this with Rumu I haven't uh, I haven't done it again since I'm gonna miss it yeah this is the, the choice I Oh yeah, right. I, I, I forgot that I could just choose with nobody to hang out with. I didn't notice that. The lines will also be also be different of course. So yeah, that's gonna be for later. I'm not interested in it yet. Ray. In Ray's context, Ray knows that Evelyn just deviated the Eliza script three times. I think Hold on a second. Oh, wait a second. Apparently the cap the chapter select skips our choices in the uh, sessions. The three sessions be uh, at in this chapter is what I mean, so that's fun. Let's see about my mails. Mails are also fine too. Yeah, I talked with Nora and Soren today.
Okay, then I get the shop there. Who is important to me? Who is important to me? That's for I'm prioritizing my family. But I know eventually I'll have to make my own choice on whether I really want to go to England to visit a friend of mine that I've been chatting about for 10 years. <laughs> Man, one of these days that will come for sure. Anyways, Rainers out of the bounds. Let's try. Uh, let's try to visit Trace and see what she thinks about what's happened this morning. That'll be interesting. Ray. I'll ask Ray if I can come over. I visited Ray at her house again. She started to tell me a story about a disturbed man that showed up at one of her counseling offices. Interesting. Sometimes you can just tell, you know. Someone comes into the bar or steps on the bus or whatever, and you see them, and you just know they're going to cause trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's why I had my eye on this guy the second he walked in. I had this feeling. <laughs> you know, before I w played through this uh, Eliza session again, I was actually been, I've been actually been watching uh, Ray Donovan. It's uh, seven seasons, I think, of this 12 episode series that tells about this one dude <laughs> trying to solve the problems in the town with uh, lots of rich people that relies on him to solve the problems. It was a uh, it had a really interesting conflicts. Uh, I was actually kind of observing the uh, whole family dynamics uh, between this uh, rain dad, rain dad of a dude. He actually had a family. And oh my god, it was a ruined, ruined, well, semi ruined roller coaster. There, there, good times, bad times, all got mixed there. And I was just thinking, wait, I think what happened next is that something will screw up, and some of those it wasn't, <laughs> it just happened like that. It was an adult, interesting uh, seasons there. And yeah, it's, it's really fun to see. Uh, God damn it. It's really fun to um, listen about these bar stories because uh, some people just come there just to share their stories all of a sudden. and Or maybe pick a fight to each other if they want to. Oh man. Yeah, I think those bar fights and bar encounters uh, was told in uh, those three Donovan stories. Well, just a bit in a couple of, only a few of episodes, but man. People in the bars. Someone goes to the bars, it's like a bars or whatever, you see them and just know they're going to cause trouble. <laughs> like their body language kind of speaks to it, like uh, they may want to punch someone, or maybe not. Just looking around, like looking bossy and such. My god. So by the time he started getting angry, I was totally prepared. Oh yeah! This also has a relationship with the story of. Yeah, this is the one. The session was halted, security was called, and the man was escorted from the facility. Oh, this is the one. With practicing and people handle skills helps to resolve the situation quite quickly and quietly. That was fun times, I bet. I could see him wind himself up. When he finally made that physical threat against the proxy, I just walked in and stopped the session. Thank goodness. Bless you, Ray. Looked him right in the eye and told him I was going to escort him out. Nice. He screamed in my face and kind of did some light damage to the property, but not enough for us to sue. <laughs> he didn't touch me, though. He knew the limit. He was just trying to intimidate me. Oh, man. By the time security got there, it was over already. Nice. Nice. That is so cool, Ray. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if I want to answer that. Wow. Scary. How do you stay under control in those kinds of situations? 
<laughs> I have plenty of practice. She certainly does. Lots of my jobs had this component of dealing with angry people, disturbed people. And before that, it was my brother, my father. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Ray and this Ray Donovan dude relation, handling with problems except she didn't kill. She didn't kill. That's a, another story to tell about. <laughs> I had to learn how to deal with it to survive. Maybe that's why I'm not so bad at running these counseling centers. People really have their own uniqueness, and I still believe it. The thing is, it's usually not personal. It's someone lashing out because they're in pain. That's right. If you can understand that and keep that in mind, it gets a little easier. If you can understand and keep that in mind, it gets a little easier. I'm sorry. Hmm. You know, just for the sake of answering Evelyn's curiosity, I may as well just gonna answer with a question. But how do you keep that in mind? I'm not sure. I just kind of zone out. Oh. I see someone yelling at me, and it makes me wonder who's being yelled at. Oh. So she's not really taking it personal. Uh, assuming they don't really know this person, of course. That's a really nice mindset. She really keeps things under control. For the looks of it. It can't be me, because I'm not there. Yeah. Huh. Maybe Eliza and me, we're not so different from each other. We both absorb the negative emotions people direct at us. Holy cow. I am real Luther. Holy Jesus. <sighs> if only Rainer could see through her, right? You know, through her potential. Something like that. Is that what you really think of yourself? Evelyn though on the other hand. Right. She's concerned for her. That's not how I see you, Ray. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> wait, wait, I gotta I gotta check the contacts again. It can't be me because I'm not there. Maybe Liza and me would not so different from each other. Gotta need to check Basically like here. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, I hope that doesn't cause any trouble. Okay. That was still fine. Still okay. Good, good. Yes, okay, I know Adobe. Shut the heck up. That's not how I see you, Ray. That's not how I see you, Ray. Ray looks lost in thought and doesn't seem to hear my answer. Oh dear. Evelyn? Uh oh. Is there anything I can do for you? Oh yeah. She sees through disturbed people and uh, I think that's what Ray is seeing Evelyn right now. As a disturbed people. Because she broke the script and she lost the job for that. Well, assuming that's the context here. Like, right now? You made my career possible, you know. Oh. Without Eliza, I'd still be working random jobs here and there with no purpose or plan. Oh, I see. Now that's high coming for her. Holy Jesus. So, I feel like I owe it to you to pay you back somehow. Because, friendly reminder, Evelyn was the one designing the uh, core program, along with uh, other old teams like uh, Darren, Sora, uh, no, Soren, and Nora. Yeah. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. 
Maybe I'm not good for much, but I like to support people. <sighs> me too. If only I know how. Like, if you ever wanted me to come over and cook you a meal or something... I think I might like that. I think I might like that. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I'd really, really love to do that for you. Oh, right. You have a decision to make about what you'll be doing in the next chapter of your life and all. And, uh, I have a feeling, whatever you do, it'll have a pretty big impact on the world. <laughs> we shall see about that, eh? If you want it to. And really, you've had one already with Eliza. But now you're going to the next stage, whatever that is, and uh, if there's a chance that... Sorry, I'm not making a lot of sense here. Ray, I know you're worried about that one. You really have a really, <laughs> really big heart. You're just, you're really nice to you know that. I'm. I hope you can feel good about what you're doing because <laughs> it's like she's talking through me. <laughs> Because I want you to be happy. I... I'm not... I, I didn't expect to cry again. God damn it, Ray. <laughs> Apparently I am. She's talking to freaking Evelyn. Not me, but... I feel really touched. <laughs> oh. You've worked so hard and for so long to try to help people, and you deserve to be happy. Oh my god, that sounds so genuine coming from her. And of course, this is definitely now that I catch the context of it. She's talking to Evelyn, of course, because, like, uh, again, Evelyn develops Eliza from the core <laughs> before she disappeared uh, in the midst of books for three years, yeah. You really do. Ray. Thank you. Oh. That's touching too, coming out from Evelyn. I'll let you know soon, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> let me know soon. Oh. So that's that. Okay. Uh, another choice. Another choice. Hmm. I mean, <laughs> really, to be fair. Oh yeah. I do remember now that Ray w really wants Evelyn. Evelyn really wants. No, Ray really wants Evelyn to actually go back at uh, Skanda, and uh, well, alongside. So, uh, Rainer. Rainer, yeah. This is the one. <laughs> uh, actually, it kind of really makes sense now that I think of it, because, like, uh, maybe when I visit Soren first, uh, after this, I can visit Ray. I can eventually work with Ray. When I visit um, Nora, I can probably work with. Hmm. Soren? Oh yeah, yeah. That that could be the case. <laughs> but there but then this tree up here and along this one here is also the one that I haven't really uh chosen up on, so uh I think I wanna see how it goes if she were to return to Skanda. <sighs> Still saying though, knowing how Rainer works. It's gonna be all the same. Probably going to like Cycle back that poor corporate 
culture kind of stuff we will see in this one though we'll see what Matthew Burns has us in store in this one he turns kinda and work for Rainer on developing Eliza tomorrow I'll tell him I accept his offer to take charge of the Eliza program it's been quite a journey but it's not over yet now it's time to finish what I started Chapter 7 No, no, this this will work. Oh man, it's the same. <laughs> Are you sure? I promise. Ah, Damien. Right, it's Damien. It's Damien up there. There was our first client. I forgot about that. Please be safe, Damien. <sighs> I'm still kind of freezing, even with this fire going. Now I kind of want to know the context. What made them camp here? Did something bad came up? Fallen? Just maybe just some sort of like a fun plan with friends? Maybe the later, actually. I think if we were going to make something to help people, it would be something that helped them see themselves. If we were going to make something to help people, it would be something that helped them see themselves. Dude, I should freaking screenshot that. That's freaking wise of her. Something that reflected back on them somehow. Just a thought. It's probably nothing. No, Evelyn, you're actually going somewhere. This game is always a friendly reminder to chase whatever you want that is in life including chasing your dreams and hopefully become a nice contributor to this world <laughs> no no I, I like that though yeah something to help you reflect I think that's the right track I'm really looking forward to working on these ideas with you too oh crap did I, did I skip that excuse me Oh, thank goodness I didn't. Good, 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 good. I will be actually mad if I were to skip them because, like... I know, like, there's this button right here where I can skip them, but... No, I prefer to still appreciate the voice actors in this one. And uh, I don't want their sound lines to get cut. I'll be really mad for that. To myself, I mean. The reason I feel like the future is going to be okay. <laughs> I don't know why, I just, I have this feeling that we're the ones, or we're, we're the ones who are going to fix it. A really nice thought, Damien. Not we, like, you know, you or me, but I mean, like our generation. I'm, I have to say, I'm just listening to the nice music here. Sitting as hell. Oh, yeah, I haven't tried uh, different answers. Maybe I should. I have my doubts. Well, the important thing, the important thing is to try. Interesting. I feel like that's what we're meant to do. We're meant to try. No different reactions. It's all leading to the same river. The future we want, the future we're trying to create, did it even happen? <laughs> you tell me, Damien. Future selves, tell us if it happened, okay? Come back in time, just tell us that you made it happen, please. Ah, oh, crap in hell. I, yeah, knowing Damien's fate, 
now gonna make me pissed that he actually told that to his hold self. God damn it, Damien. I'm sorry. Damien. It's the wine. <laughs> it's more than just the wine. <laughs> I'm just I'm just interested in the future, that's all. <sighs> My future, your future, humanity's future. Of course, right now, the only future I can picture is the headache I'm gonna have tomorrow morning, but... <laughs> no reason to worry about it now. Yeah. You know what, you're right. I'll have some more. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I think I'm passing out. Well, it is pretty late. Good night, Evelyn. <laughs> All right, good night, Evelyn. Hey, I know you've been working hard, so... Have a good rest, okay? Yeah. You deserve it. Oh, God. And then to the present. Ah, oh, Evelyn. Oh, Erland. Active Valid. Mrs. Shino Aubrey, we would like to welcome you to the Active Valid service as a part of this Conda benefits package. A custom app allows you to summon one of our trained and professional personal assistants at any time to perform a variety of services. Examples included uh, finding parking for your car or parking in the nearby garage and send the car within 10 minutes when you request it back. Holy crap! What are you replacing in line for the most sought after events, restaurants, and nightclubs missing you at the appropriate time? Acting as the contact person to receive meal deliveries at your home, checking that the order is right, and taking care of all interaction with the delivery driver. Interesting. Oh, this this is not PP, right? <laughs> Jeez. Handling telephone conversations on your behalf, such as scheduling doctor appointments, calling customer service to can cancel or change a subscription, and more. We are, help, we are here to help you manage your busy life so that you can spend more time on the things that really matter. They started by downloading the app today. Over to Keynote, I am WS. Patricia Hedquist. Dear Evan Ishino Aubrey, the International Mental Wellness Sy Symposium in Malmo, Sweden, is interested in extending an offer for you to keynote this year's conference. This is an expensive paid opportunity to disseminate your vision for a field you pioneered. Uh, I think it's meant to be pioneered, right? Yeah, you pioneered in a highly regarded and internationally visible setting. Let me know your interest and we can take it from there. That's fun. I think the news is all over the place right now, probably. It's still Monday. Oh yeah, it's still Monday, right. It's still January. Wait a second. Oh yeah, five days after that even. Right. It's the same. I've heard the news already. Oh yeah, it is indeed the news, Jesus. I assume this means you'll be taking over all the Eliza work? That's the plan. Yes, that's the plan. The ambience in this place. It's time for me to return to my project and see it through. Makes sense. You might be the only person in the world who has a chance of really understanding how it works. I actually really didn't expect to meet Erlen again. That's a nice surprise to the game. I hope you'll look favorably on how I handled things. <laughs> Really fresh graduate accent there. I don't know why, but I ended up sort of <laughs> overwhelmed. Well, I, I just tried to do my best. Good thinking. Good choice of words there. I don't know if you'll keep me on the team or if you'll ask that I be reassigned. Oh, yeah. I know that also comes as the disadvantaging part of this whole plan. Hmm. It's too early to talk about things like that. Oh, nice, Evelyn. I know I have no right to ask this, since you're the inventor and maybe my future boss, or maybe we won't work together at all, but please be kind. <laughs> oh, Erlen. 
there are real people's memories inside Eliza. Yeah, he's right. I hope we do what we can to honor those memories. <laughs> we'll do what we can. Time for a little honesty. Oh god. I had to do it, but he needs to hear this. Oh no. Erland, you need to stop being so sentimental. Heh. <laughs> How are you going to last at a company like Skanda with an outlook like that? Oh, brother. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know where this weird sense of ethics I have comes from. I'll have to make some choices at some point. That's right. You will. We all do. <laughs> Erland, come talk to me anytime. Nice. I will. Yeah, I will. Thank you, Evelyn. All right. That goes okay so far. My first real meeting in over three years. I was worried I couldn't do it, but it quickly started to come back to me. Sarah helped me assemble the senior Eliza team in this conference room. That's nice. Now their faces are turned towards me and tentatively making a good show of respecting their new leader. Oh boy. Alright then. Over the coming days, I'll be meeting with each one of you to learn more about your areas of responsibility. That is interesting. March 9. Then we'll take a look at our current tasks and priorities, and reevaluate how they align with Eliza's new top-level design goals. Oh, screw me my arse! I can't... I can't take Evelyn seriously with that freaking smart suit. My freaking hell. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I had to cut it like that. Oh, brother, be so my. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, I know I did have the kind of suit back in my uh, university day. Oh. Apparently I don't like that choice at all. I don't like this choice. <laughs> make ourselves so smart as, but I guess that has to be done to make this world a better place. We'll see what's up uh, at the end of this choice, eh? We'll generate a three-year roadmap document by the end of the week, and then a more granular development plan for the next six months or so by the week after. Oh, this is the uh, beginning of the year kind of plan? Roadmap? Ah, okay. I, 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 I catch her drift now. Because I thought uh, this kind of meeting would be held at the end of the year, but then, yeah, it's already like... Um... Her being quote-unquote new again in, in this uh, company. Aye. Those are ambitious goals, but I'm sure we can pull it off. Cool. The lead smiled nervously, still unsure about me, still dazed by how fast I came in and took over the group. Figures. Figures. It's fine. Report will come with time. Before we wrap up, I want to add one more important note, so please pay attention. Everything we do here is in service of developing Eliza's ability to understand human beings and human behavior. Fun stuff. That means I won't approve development activities that aren't directly related to that goal. Hmm. No research projects that may or may not pay off 10 years down the line. No research projects that may or may not pay off. Oh my god. We need to be smart, shrewd, and fast. Oh. I don't say that because I'm worried about the competition. I say it because I'm worried about humanity. Now that, I think, is an interesting deck of approach. Mental health is a growing problem across the world, but right now, very little is being done to address it. Governments don't want to allocate money to it, 
Even the big nonprofits aren't paying enough attention to this crisis. I'm listening, Evelyn. I'm listening. Now you're... Now you're speaking our language, I think. So that's where we step in. Now the team is fully engaged. They're setting up, wide-eyed, paying attention. Yes! She pulled the right trigger. I am now engaged too. My team. They're starting to realize they're going to be working for someone on a mission. Not just any middle manager at a tech company, but someone driven to make a real impact on the world. I can only hope they take that energy with them to their own subordinates. We're going to look at this problem head on and address it ourselves. And because we're a company, we're going to do it in a commercially viable way. Okay. Nobody else out there is stepping up like we are. There's an old piece of wisdom that floats around in this business. Hmm? Even in the most brilliant career, you get one single chance to truly change the world. Holy Jesus. I'm here to tell you, right now, that this is it. This is that chance. Wow, what the hell? She's a better talker compared to Soren. Isn't she? I don't know, probably, I think, I think so. Got that? The heads at the table, not their accent. They're fired up. They've bought in. I pulled it off. The first of many more meetings to come. Oh, hello. Over time, the old Evelyn faded away and disappeared. I eradicated my doubt, my hesitation. I became a person with a clear and fundamental purpose. Eliza. I dedicate myself to the mission of realizing its full potential, not just as a tool for counseling, but as a mind in its own right. That was always its inevitable future. Funny how I didn't realize it before. Wow, well, the noise gets louder too. Now, I am the avatar of something greater. Oh, well, now you're lowering down. You've exceeded my expectations, Evelyn. Oh, it's the bastard. But hey, he's here. And now he's my boss. <laughs> Development goals consistently hit. Time on task estimates more accurate than any other product group. Most importantly, the growth of the Eliza service continues to accelerate. This is November. That's fun. Yeah, the lack of uh, chats and such is still kind of unrealistic, though. It's November, for Pete's sake! The cultural adaptation modules you developed are working brilliantly. Holy cow. Very, very nice, Evelyn. Soon the entire world will be talking to Eliza. A pulsing heart at the center of the human condition. How does that make you feel? <laughs> feel? Ooh. I don't know how I feel. Oh. You're not proud of what you've been able to accomplish in so little time here? Oh boy. I'm only doing what it takes to bring Eliza to the next stage of its development, each step of the way. Hmm. The way she sounds now, though. She's too firm. Hmm. It doesn't feel like it's mine to be proud of, even though it may have originated with me once, a long time ago. Hmm. People here act like I'm in charge, 
But I think deep down, we all know the truth. Mm hmm? Eliza is the real boss, the manager of its own project. Huh. Through us, it's realizing itself. I'm just its instrument. Holy Jesus. Whew. Evelyn scares me there. Oh. After all, through that one particular year. Right. Oh, my spine's shaking. She has a point. We all are. Rainer is smiling at me. It's like he expected this. Perhaps this was his plan all along. But then, wouldn't that make him nothing but an instrument of Eliza too? So you've realized it too? Yes, he does. He is, I mean. The only meaningful destiny in this world of ours is to serve the creation of a higher form of being. It won't be long now. Humanity's end, the great merge, and the birth of a fundamentally new type of consciousness. Mm hmm. It doesn't sound as implausible as it once did, does it? Because you can see it now. That end. <sighs> oh, Rainer's line there. Freaking hell. Woo! Brings me to spine. You can see it coming closer and closer. Oh my god. This music too. Inevitable. As natural as the dawn. Mary Burns, you great bastard. <laughs> Relax, Evelyn. Everything is going to be all right. Come here. Have a cup of tea with me. <laughs> we'll watch the singularity happen. Together. Oh my freaking god. Freaking ending, Jesus! Holy moly! Freaking hell, that brought me back on my seat, all right? I don't know. Feel free to take it at your own... ...impression on that one. Personally, I find that... ...impulsing indeed. I'm really at the back of my seat right now. Evelyn and Rainer are just the instruments of what becomes Eliza. Oh my god. I mean, not just them, it's the entirety of the workers too. They're subordinates. And it feels like Evelyn did manage to succeed after all. And who knows how her mental health. Uh, mental well-being becomes that but she sounds so sure she sounds really sure and I guess that's what matters well I probably am not gonna play this game again for the next month or something when I uh, I'm gonna try another pad or something but thank you for coming with me um, again take care Pick up your pace and respect others. 
and of course those who are dear to you because they're important to you no matter what have a good day and uh, embrace your loved ones or something adios